Alright, in this video, this is the dynamic gradient that you can apply to pretty much any type of progress that you want to keep track of in KOWP. Uh, the basic one that I have here in this rectangle and this rotating circle slice is going to change from this blue to this red over the course of 60 seconds and we can use this website here to get our blends that's what I have over here but we can also apply this to a thermometer I did a tutorial on this a while back but now I'm applying this dynamic gradient and as the temperature goes up I think I have this set to get even darker and as the temperature goes down I have it set to transition to a whitish gray color and then you have this one down here, the battery. This is just a font icon, but I have a rectangle here that will transition from a yellow to a green. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, mess around with this battery one here to show you how to test things out, uh, change your colors and whatnot. And you can do this for so many other pieces. And then I'll also round out the video where I'll come to this circle progress and I'll apply a code, a very simple code inside of the globals where we can track the music progress. Again, you can apply these gradients to pretty much anything you want that you want to keep uh, track of based on some numbers. So all of these are components. We have the two color blend RGB test and basically this is what you can load up to test and make sure whatever your starting color is and your ending color is, it matches that over here on this website. And this is MeyerWeb.com. If you Google that and type in Color Blender, you should find uh, this website here where you can pretty much, you know, pick any two colors you want. Some of the transitions are ugly, but uh, yeah, just want to throw that out there. So anyway, this two color blend RGB test component, all of these components are in my free components folder that will allow you to test things out. And I'll show you how to mess around with the globals right here in a moment. The dynamic gradient rectangle is this rectangle that you see here that's changing based on seconds. The dynamic gradient circle component, that is this one here. And again, you can customize all of these to show the progress of anything. Um, as a matter of fact, the thermometer and the battery, essentially what I'm doing with the thermometer and the battery is I'm using the rectangle component and I'm just adjusting the sizes and the basic function that I want to keep uh, track of. And let me show you that with the battery. So inside of this dynamic gradient rectangle battery, if I head on over to globals, in all of these components, the first six globals you're going to have are going to be the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. Now over here at this website, we have red, green, blue, and I'm calling this red one, green one, blue one. And then down here I have red two, green two, blue two, because we have color one, color two. And what I have these set up, I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and take this red one, 255, G1, 255, and B1 of zero. Watch what happens when I type these in over here. And if I click down here to the second channel, look, we have a yellow. And then the color two, so I'm gonna to go to R2, G2, B2. Here's R2, 51. So the blend that we're going to get here, if I press blend, we're gonna get a yellow to a green. And you can see that my battery on my cell phone is pretty much fully charged. So we're right here around this full spot. However, let me prove to you that if I were to lower somehow my battery percentage, I would get this yellow. And what I've put inside of this component, all of these components for you, is if you scroll down a little bit and we come down here and set the test to on, watch what happens. Well, nothing happened. But here's what I want you to notice. Uh, when this test is on, you can actually test whatever component you're inside of. And notice as I test this, I want you to notice I have a min of zero and a max of 100. Because I'm talking about a battery, the minimum is gonna be 0%, the maximum is gonna be 100%. Now clearly these two numbers will be different if you're trying to keep track of temperatures, if you're trying to keep track of music progress, if you're keeping track of seconds, if you open up all of these components, you'll see that I have different mins and maxes. The rectangle height is what you want to adjust to make it fit inside of your component. 
that's if you're using rectangles. And then let me come down here to test number. So I have my test on, and when I put this down to zero, or as a matter of fact, anything lower than zero, um, I'm not gonna see anything in my battery percentage. But the minute I come back to zero, and then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, blah, 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 blah. You can see that this yellow is slowly starting to change, and it's really going through this gradient over here. And I'm just gonna fast forward or skip more numbers. And you can see that we are ultimately going to hit this uh, 51,153,0, whatever that may be. So now once you're done testing things and making sure everything's lined up, make sure you cut that test off. And let me show you a few more things you want to adjust. If I come back up here to function, this is the thing that I want to keep track of, the battery level. So since my test is off, that means the way I have this set up with all the math and the codes, it's going to be reading this particular number and it's going to be finding, okay, battery level. My battery level is 98%. That's why this thing is pretty much doggone full because my min is zero, my max is 100. Now the other things down here, the max min, all these codes down here, feel free to look at them. I'm not gonna dive into them. The math is not crazy, but what I wanna show you is how you can take this component and you can apply it to pretty much any type of progress that you wanna keep track of. So what I wanna do here is I wanna show you music progress and I'm actually gonna use this circle here to do it, but um, I'm not gonna put the shape inside of the circle um, because I wanna clear a piece out so we can see some progress, but by all means, when you're doing like the temperature one, you'll notice that I actually have that image, that thermometer image inside of the component and you'll see it like that when you open up that component from my free components folder. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and add an overlap group and inside of this overlap group, I'll position it where I want right here in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape and for that shape, just something real quick, nothing fancy. I'm gonna make this a square and I'm gonna eyeball this so that hopefully this square is uh, bigger than this circle that I have right here. And then also inside of this component, I'm going to add a circle. Let me make its width rather large and let's go over to paint we'll set this to something that i can see and i'm also going to set the style to a stroke so i have like a ring and i'm going to increase that stroke size a little bit and then what i want to do is i want to set this filter to clear and by me setting this to clear i should have cleared out, let me save this and go back to the home screen. Yes, we are clearing out that square. So I have this square in this ring inside of its own overlap group. And now I'm just gonna position this right over this circle. And then we're going to modify the code of this circle slice to show the music progress. That's the main goal here. I'm just uh, throwing in a little bit of extra stuff. So I'm um, backing out of here. Let me come to this overlap group, position. Let's do center right and I'm just going to bump it over to the left a little bit. And I need to go that way. So maybe somewhere around there, that looks good. It looks like I'm hiding everything. And by me doing this, when we come back and look, now we're gonna see this progress. Of course, in the background, it's a full circle or slices that are getting built, but it looks like a ring. And this ring will change colors based on whatever gradient you set up. And again, you can create that over here uh, when you're blending your two colors together. But what I want to do now is I want to keep track of my music progress. So let's go into custom. I'm going to come to the gradient circle. I'm going to go to its globals. I'm going to leave the colors alone, but again, you can pick any two colors you want, blend them together and change those numbers inside of the globals. But what we want to do here, our function for music progress, I'm going to track uh, underneath music info. Let's go to current track position. So this is going to be the number that we're going to monitor. Uh, 100 seconds. I'm 100 seconds into some song that I'm listening to on Spotify. And then if I come down here a little bit further to min and max. Now, when I had it set up for seconds, because that's what we just had a moment ago, the minimum number of seconds that we'll show in, in custom is zero seconds and the maximum will be 59 because it resets back to zero. Uh, for minimum, the minimum number of seconds for a song is going to be zero seconds, but the maximum number of seconds for a song is going to change depending on what song we have. So uh, current track duration, that's what I want to use for a max. So this will change dynamically and everything should be good to go. Make sure my test is off, which it is. If I save this, go back to the home screen, and uh, I have a progress that is not moving. I'm just gonna open up Spotify real quick. 
All right, so I have a little bit of Audio Slave playing, and I'm just going to drag around. So uh, right here, roughly at the beginning of the song, and I'm at 11 seconds of 4 minutes and 12 seconds, but basically I'm pretty much nowhere in my song, and you can see that the progress is right there. That's where it should be. I'm just going to come back and fast forward roughly halfway through the song right there, give or take a little bit. So if I exit out of here, notice our progress is halfway around. And now I'm going to scroll somewhere close to the end of the song. We're not quite at the end, but we're doggone near 100%. And you can see that this progress is uh, pretty much full. And since I didn't change the color, maybe you did notice as each time I showed this ring, as I was changing the track position, you know, we started off with like a blue, then we had this purplish pink, and now we're finishing up with this red. And there you have it, a dynamic progress, pick two colors, click blend. Um, you really don't even have to do that. That's just a way for you to test things over here inside of this first component I showed you. And uh, feel free to check out the thermometer one, the battery one, seeing how I change the size of the rectangle. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.